Uh oh. Oh, no, he didn't. David Benavidez fires back at Caleb Plant. In this video, I will show you the ensuing beef between David Benavidez, undefeated super middleweight, and Caleb Plant. Tell you what's going on as they talk a potential fight. I'm going to talk about all that more in this video. This is going to be good. We're about to find out what it's going to be. Let's get started. Now, before I get started, I looked at my YouTube analytics and it says in the last 30 days, about 50% of you have subscribed to my channel. Don't know if you forgot to subscribe. Sometimes YouTube unsubscribes people. If that is the case, hit the subscribe button. It takes a few seconds of your time. At worst, you can unsubscribe if you're not feeling the content. But I know that you will because I got some fire coming up. And you can also follow me at Boxing Eagle One. You guys, sometimes I'm not around to make a video. So you guys can check my Instagram account and kind of get the news first. So let me pull it up for you guys. Y'all need to see what, what we're talking about. Now, I seen David Benavidez posted this. So it looks like somebody put on Twitter, Caleb Plant versus David Benavidez this year in 2022. Who wins and how? You know, pretty simple question. And then there's a side by side picture of the two. Apparently, Caleb Plant seen this. And he said, fat boy can't up with me. And I highlighted it for you. Fat boy can't up with me, says Caleb Plant. You see the arrows? Now let me pull out. Like Ryan Garcia. Get it? Pull out Ryan Gar Never mind. And this, David Benavidez seen it and he wasn't happy. So this is what David Benavidez had to say. And I highlighted that for you guys so you can see as well. He said, guess what? This fat boy will knock your B.A. out worse than Canelo, sweetheart. Crying emoji. Once again, this fat boy will knock your B.A. out worse than Canelo did, sweetheart. And then he tagged him. Now, he also posted this in addition to posting it on his story on Instagram. He posted the story on his timeline. And it's the same picture without the highlights that I put in myself. Oh, uh, there's El Rayo. He's a boxer. He's someone to watch for. He said the boy's soft. Oh, dang. It's going down. So, let's see what David Benavidez said in his caption. It says, here we go again. LOL, little Caleb, a fake tough guy till his butt get knocked out. Don't get knocked out back to back, tough guy. Because Caleb Plant is coming off a knockout loss to Canelo Alvarez. Pay they, you won pay they. I know that. Tusty. I think it was the 11th round, if I'm not mistaken. So he said, Here we go again, lol. Little Caleb, a fake tough guy, till his butt ASS get knocked out. Don't get knocked out back to back, like Drake said, tough guy. This is an easy fight to make. So let me know when you want it and when you want to get it. And then he tagged, I don't know why he tagged him three times, but it said Caleb Plant, Caleb Plant, Caleb Plant. That part is kind of funny. Listen, David Benavidez, he has his own fight. You see it on the screen. David Benavidez versus David Lemieux. David Lemieux has cracks. I haven't seen too much of David Lemieux. And since he moved up to super middleweight, he fought like Max Burlap Sack or Bursack. And he was getting dropped in that fight, even though he did drop his opponent. So he carried his power up. At this current point, David Benavidez looks to be too much for David Lemieux. However, they still got to fight. That's just the reality of it. They got to still fight. So I don't want to get too far ahead of myself or too far. Because boxing is notorious. It wears a bunch of Twitter fingers and the, the fight sounds appetizing as heck. And all the fans are vested in it and want to see it. Womp, 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 and then it doesn't happen. So... Listen, I've wanted to see this fight for several years. I know Caleb Plant. I've interviewed David Benavidez as well. And it's a great fight. He got to get past David Lemieux, which I expect him to do. But, you know, I don't want to disrespect David Lemieux because he does have power. And that fight should be taking place May 21st in Phoenix, Arizona for the WBC. He said, let's go. So he has to handle that business. Caleb Plant, 
has been rumored to possibly fight Jamal Charlo. However, more recent reports suggest that Jamal Charlo could in fact face Jaime Munguia, and that's an excellent option. So if that's the case, then that leaves Caleb Plant without a dance partner. David Benavidez booked up Jamal Charlo, another guy kind of rumored to possibly fight Caleb Plant booked up. So it is what it is. Now, in my post on Instagram, again, follow me at Boxing Ego for the latest and greatest in boxing. It's just like, you know, we taking over the gram again. I, I just feel it. Just like I'm taking over YouTube and been taking over YouTube, we taking over the gram again when it comes to this boxing. So make sure you guys follow me over there. You see it on the screen at Boxing Ego One. But I posted this and no surprise, it's a super mixed bag in the comment section, you know, and different people let's look at some of the comments some people were picking david benavidez by knockout some people were saying david benavidez gets hit too much and caleb plant will school him and box him great fight though in my opinion david benavidez by ko i put my money on plant see it's a that's a, the mark of a good fight because fans are torn bruh sold that belt to the highest bidder and cashed out i guess he's talking about caleb crying emoji fight already i'm tired of all these boxers wolfing uh let's get to some more predictions lol to think we gotta wait till 2023 for this to happen david wins caleb doesn't have enough to keep him off him <laughs> he said off him lol david benavidez will get knocked out by caleb plant david has no defense while plant quite literally might be the best defender in boxing I mean, Caleb Plant, that's my guy, but I don't know about the best defender of boxing when you got, you know, Shakur Stevenson and I don't know, whatever. That's subjective. I like Caleb Plant, though. I think Caleb Plant is he's just like his nickname, Sweet Hands. But it says he might be the best defender in boxing. Benavidez been dropped by a jab before. He don't keep his guard up. Easy work for Plant. Benavidez would knock his head off. I mean, see, look at these comments. These comments are all over the place. Some people are saying... Caleb would knock out Benavidez. Some people are saying Caleb would outbox him. And then the rest of the comments saying David Benavidez would murderize Caleb Plant. Make the fight. I think it's a great fight. If they can do it, do it. I want to see it. I would pay for it. Whatever I need to do. Subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest. Now that concludes David Benavidez, Caleb Plant. The two are at each other's throats. This really has been the case for several years. They don't like each other. So the fight's already sold. You know, you can get and put this with all the classic rivalries in boxing. This the two just they don't get along. There's something about each other that rubs the other person the wrong way. But I'm a big fan of both. I'm definitely tapping in David Benavidez next fight in Arizona. He looks like he's keeping his weight down. Caleb Plant, we'll see what's next for him. Drop your thoughts in the comments section. Caleb Plant, David Benavidez, who would you pick? Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on the gram. Y'all know gang gang. In a are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We working. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kanichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation.